Hello there and thank you for joining me. I'd like to show you around this large roof that we've been working on for, for around about a month or so. We haven't been working continuously on it. But this actual, this roof is large. It's a mosque in London and there's a huge amount of work we had to do. And this is after we finished all of this grey area that you're looking at, up the walls and all over the tiles which are on the floor here, is a new roof system that we put down which is called the Geico Pro roofing system. So what I'd like to do is show you actually what this roof looked like before we actually started and take you through some of the steps so, we, so that you know how we got to this particular stage. And the first step we had to do on the site survey was to work out the area of the roof and exactly what we were going to do. So using Google SketchUp this particular uh, image was produced. Now the great thing about having a model to work through like this is we can colour code it. Yellow is the perimeter which is the upstands and we know the area there that's 107 square metres and the movie colour is the the ground area the main roof area which is 187 square metres. Um, upstands for the uh, air conditioning unit are just marked on there so you can get a rough idea of where the different parts of the roof are. So the model comes in really handy for all sorts of things. Firstly working out the areas but secondly talking to the customer about the different areas. We can basically zone this roof by drawing lines through the model in different places so we can tell the customer where we're working and what we're going to be doing on each area at each uh, designated time scale when we got access to that particular part. So let's have a look at the roof now and see what it was like before we actually started. So over the top of the tiled roof before we started was this felt roof on a timber decking and we made some inspection holes through this and we were able to see that there were tiles underneath this. This uh, felt roof that was on top of it and this structure was, was a complete shambles so we knew that had to come up at a bare minimum so it was decided that what we would do is we'd strip this off and then work out what we had um, with the tiles. Maybe we had to strip the tiles but we couldn't see enough of them uh, at this particular point so the whole thing got stripped and you know it's a lot easier to say that than it was to do it but uh, we eventually got there got it all completely stripped off and cleaned up and now you can see it's it's pretty clean we're going around just repairing areas ready so that we can overcoat this with the Geico uh, roofing system so here you pretty much have it this is the Geico roofing system covering over the old roof after we've uh, carried out all the repairs filled all the divots and uh, just generally filled up any crack uh, some of the areas we had to reinforce with some special in roofing tape that we have with the Geico system but pretty much uh, it covered over the whole roof without having to do too much to it some of these uh, videos that I'm showing you these little clips are a little bit dirty over the top of the surface because of the way we did the roofs in different uh, uh, sections and we had to leave it a week or so in between because of different activities that was actually going on in the mosque but around the air conditioning units as you can see here um, getting in and around the back of all this really difficult uh, areas the Geico system really lent itself to uh, the roof. Well I hope this has uh, been informative to you my name is Stephen from London Flat Roofing.